What's up guys, Moto Dude here. Um, can't go out and make a vlog right now because it's too cold and I haven't fixed my GoPro yet. So I'm gonna do an EDC video. Um, I told you my first video that I would do EDCs and uh, a little bit about our kind of urban homestead here. So too cold to do any of that too. Uh, nothing really going on out back. So uh, at any rate, let's jump into this EDC stuff. I'm gonna do this in kind of two tiers. I have tier one, which is my everyday no matter what, it's always coming with me type stuff. Uh, tier two, which would be like my backpack and this new guy right here. So, and we'll get into that in a sec. So first things first, pocket knife. Um, this is a Kershaw Emerson Wave pocket knife. Um, if you don't know what an Emerson Wave knife is, this little hook right here um, catches your pocket as you draw it out like this. You can kind of see that little hook in action right there. If you pull the knife up, it hooks your pocket, deploys the blade, which is kind of a nice um, tactical surprise aspect of this knife that I enjoy. Um, hopefully and probably will never have to use it for that function, but uh, it's also nice just to whip it out and you know show people the thing is kind of cool. So there's that. Uh, Nuko head always goes in my back pocket. If you don't know what this is, uh, you can figure it out or check it out online. Um, I like this little thing. Like I said, always sits in my back pocket. It looks like a, <clears throat> like a skull ring kind of in my pocket. So nobody really knows what it is. Um, Zippo lighter. should always carry a lighter with you. I always keep my Zippo full. Um, this doesn't always come with me, but it's with me most of the time. Um, it's a bird mouth type um, cigar cutter. Um, just cheap. I lose these a lot too, so um, that guy is almost always with me. Uh, I've got an Eddie Bauer money clip uh, wallet credit card holder thing. Um, it's nice because it's thin. fits in my front pocket. I don't like a wallet in my back pocket. When you ride a motorcycle for a lot of hours, you really feel it. So when I'm riding a bike, definitely like this in the front pocket. Cheap Uzi tactical pin. Had a window breaker on it, but it came unscrewed and is gone. Um, nice thing about these is they're cheap. So if you lose it, you're not really out anything. So it's cheap to replace um, as well. Um, it takes a Fisher Space Pin refill, which is really nice. So uh, the main reason I like it is because of this guy right here. Handcuff key built into the top of it. Um, the handcuff key itself unscrews out of this little cone deal to top where the window punch used to be. And of course, there's the second lock mechanism up there for a set of handcuffs. And lastly, my light. Um, I really like this light. It's a mini ML with like a cheap clip. I like the cheap clip because um, it's big. So you see it more, more than like the titanium, small titanium clips. But again, it was cheap. And my big hands get a big, a good purchase right here when I want to draw it out of my pocket. Um, <clears throat> makes it nice to get it out of there. So um, there's that. This light's really great. Has three settings, low, medium, high. Has a strobe, has SOS. Does a bunch of stuff. So that's tier one. All this tier one stuff is just crap that's always in my pockets. On any given day, you can find me with this stuff on me. <clears throat> Probably 99% of the time. So there's that. Um, this... Right here is just a Gerber straight blade knife. It's going to find its way into there eventually, or into here eventually in a way that I'm more comfortable with. So, that being said, let's get into this. This is a Condor bag organizer, something like that. I don't know. I saw a guy had one online and a while ago, and I was like, oh, I'll grab one of those. That's cool. Um, I like it. Keep some shotgun shells in here. Um, keep a shotgun in the back of the car. Um, you know, basically... For a type of emergency situation, I would need one. It's just a cheap shotgun. So, um, and I actually keep it in two pieces back there too. So it kind of has to be assembled, but it goes together really fast. So, um, just three shells of steel shot and three shells of slug. Um, gun shoots both. So, I've got these little doohickeys here. This is like you know a night ice thing and a Gerber shard. You know, crap I'll probably never use, but it's nice to have. It's cheap. Just keep it in there. So, keep a Carpet knife, box knife, you know, safety knife, whatever you want to call it. Gerber Paraframe 2. Um, I've carried three or four of these over the years since I was basically allowed to start carrying a pocket knife again in the military. This is what the PX had, so this is what I bought, and I've carried them ever since because I've really liked them. Um, two ink pens and a Sharpie. A Bic lighter. Super reliable. Always have a Bic. Um, moving up, I've got another flashlight. This is just a cheap parts store, auto parts store flashlight. It's cool though because it's water resistant. I sprayed it down with water while it was on. It worked fine. High, medium, low settings, a strobe, and an SOS in this as well. Um, this is a 
Gerber here. This is a Gerber multi-tool. Always keep a Gerber multi-tool with me as well. Again, I've had this since 2005, 2006. Sometime right after I got out of basic training. Um, got this guy. So I've had that for that long too. Um, and it works great. I use the crap out of it. Um, this is 550 cord, a bundle of 550 cord. I'm not going to pull it out of there because you know what 550 cord is. Some hand sanitizer. Uh, moving up the bag. This is going to be a kind of a first aid kit, more triage type first aid kit. Um, you know, I'm putting that together now. Here I've got more ammo. I keep 9, 45, and 40 in there. Um, I like to keep a little bit of everything with me. Ohio is a concealed carry state, so depending on what I'm carrying, it's nice to have a little extra. Plus, you know, think worst case scenario. I'm not a prepper by any means. But think worst case scenario when crap's hitting the fan, you lose your gun or you find another gun. It's nice to know I keep a mag full of ammo for just about all the major, you know, most commonly carried weapons. So you know, I carry about eight to ten rounds um, of pretty much everything worth carrying. So, you know, 9, 40, 45. I've got my shotgun and I've got a little box here that has like 122 shells in it. So, um you know, I'm always prepared there. <clears throat> got allergy, Excedrin. I've got a little more triage stuff here. You know, lip gloss. Not lip gloss. Chapstick. Only chicks wear lip gloss, I guess. So, um, you know, whatever. I don't really know what the difference is. Tourniquet. Pulse oximeter. Um, I was a combat lifesaver in the Army, which, you know, is basically like <laughs> over-glorified first aid. It's really nothing special. But, uh, you know I, know, I know how to check vitals, start an IV. Um, you know, things like that. Um, though it's probably safer just to give someone fluids rectally, honestly. But, um, new skin, just dumb crap like that. You know, just some first aid stuff. Stuff that I think would also be beneficial on my motorcycle, because that's going to be when I usually have this thing the most is when I'm on the bike. Um, but it is in the trunk of my car anytime I go anywhere, anytime I go to school or whatever. Um, and it fits perfectly inside of this camelback bag, which I don't really know. I don't know if you can see this. There's a little pocket there that a radio is supposed to go into and has a little antenna ports here. You're supposed to be able to put a radio in there, a combat radio in there, but whatever. I don't know anything about that. So nice thing is it fits even full. Set this down for a sec. Even full fits perfectly right inside my bag right there. Um, took those straps up out of the way and this bag, that little divider fits perfectly in there and I still have a full use of my bag there so um this bag whoop, didn't realize the camera was upside down sorry um <clears throat> this bag um is a um camelback um i thought it was a mother load when i looked recently but it's definitely not a mother load i don't know what it is if you know tell me because i would love to have another one um it's been sweet i lost the hip bolsters for it um it came with hip bolsters but i lost them years ago um, I bought this in 2004, 2005, straight out of basic training as well. Um, I don't remember when that was. It had to be 2005, I guess. Yeah, 2005. Um, and I've used the crap out of this bag. It went to the field with me a bunch of times. Um, anytime they let us bring what we wanted to the field and didn't have like a packing requirement, this is what I carried. And I could pack a week's worth of stuff in here. Um, I'm a real minimalist packer, so um, there's that. Um, my bag's always got a couple carabiners on it. Right now, there's only one on it. Somebody stole one of my carabiners. Um, I left it in the woods, strapped to something, and they stole it. So, um, kind of my fault. But at any rate, this is my Tier 2 EDC. Um, pretty much just a backpack with that divider in it. Um, and the backpack does get more stuff in it, obviously. It's got a good organizer up here. Um, there's my iPhone, iPod headphones in there, iPhone headphones. Um, this divider is usually full of stuff, um, to the extreme of even like a GPS unit here and things like that. But anyway, guys, that's my EDC stuff. That's tier one stuff here and tier two stuff here. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, things you like about, um, this stuff that I'm carrying or, um, you know, things that, um, you know, from your experience, whatever. Throw them in the comments down here. Do the little finger bust does. But anyways, guys, take care. Vlogs will be coming soon. As soon as I get my GoPro fixed and get back on the uh, on the road and it warms up a little bit again, um, we'll start doing some vlogs. And then we'll get more into guns and cool stuff like that here soon too. So um, also there's a big update coming. So stay tuned for that. Take care, guys.